Now, what are the things that we're going to cover in this particular journey? To start with, we did a little bit about inequalities, what inequalities are, right? So we did that. Now, we're going to take up also understand what we mean by properties of inequality subsequent to that. Now, when we say properties, basically it's about rules. Now, for example, if you're living in a particular locality, there are certain rules that you need to follow. If you're walking on the road, you need to follow those particular rules. Since our main aim is to have to solve an inequality, we can't just go about doing it anyway. We need to, we need a specific path, a specific direction, what to do and what not to do. So basically, roughly translated, properties would mean simple laws that govern solution or solving a particular inequalities. So we shall take that up after this, after understanding this. Then using these, now how do we apply these rules to particularly solve inequations? When you have a particular inequation, so 2x plus y is less than or equal to 7. So which are the values of x and y which would solve this particular or which could act as a solution for this. There'll be a whole range of such pairs of X and Y which could satisfy this particular condition. So how do we apply the previous mentioned properties to solve this particular inequality is what we're going to cover in solving an inequality. Now, when we all know visual appeal is the best appeal. Now, when you talk about 2X plus Y is less than or equal to 7, it does appear a little strange. So you're saying 2x plus y is less than or equal to 7. Now, when you say this, how do we, how does this look like? What is the tangible form of it? So there is nothing better than drawing a graph, which makes us understand which is the range of values which could possibly satisfy this particular inequation. So those things are going to be covered in this right then forming signs from graph is just an extension of the graph so drawing a graph basically means drawing the boundary of a particular region which could possibly cover whatever is the inequality condition that is being told and forming signs from the graph will indicate which region exactly so since the graph indicates only the boundary so which is the region that is covered by the boundary is what we're going to deal with this, this particular thing that is forming signs from graphs. And finally, the most important thing among these is how do we apply the concept of inequations in uh, how we can form a particular inequation given a particular real life example. Yes, suppose you may talk about uh, a particular factory has a maximum of uh, 12 workers. So we say x plus y could be either less than or equal to 12. So this is a simple problem. Many other things similar to this can be formed and you can form a simple mathematical inequation to represent these real life problems. And that's what we're going to cover in this particular topic that is forming of an inequation or simple words we can even call it as an equation of an inequation. Right? Well, from this, we move ahead.